when it comes to Samhain, the summer king has had the whole summer to rule over it. And he is very strong and he has, you know, it's been his season for the past sort of six months since Beltane. Woo! Have fun, kids. See you later. <laughs> and some people think that the summer king is kind of an evolution of the green man from Beltane. Um, but as Samhain approaches and it becomes winter, he is kind of waning out of his power because soon he will be, you know, usurped by the Winter King. <laughs> and um, so it's about, so the Summer King is really coming to the end of his time as the King and then the Winter King will rise up. So for this Samhain, um, my Summer King is really inspired by um, during COVID, I was actually in lockdown in Singapore for two and a half years. And so I didn't see a winter for like three years, which you think would be really beautiful to have summer be kind of permanent and it's really lovely and it's bright and it's always warm. But then you realize how badly it affects your kind of circadian rhythm and your ability to just enjoy not having, like having time to not be on all the time because summer is always very active. You really need that kind of winter time to just rest and that's certainly how I feel about a lot of things is I feel quite I felt quite burned out over the summer so I decided that that's going to be my summer king concept is you know eternal summer is not always the best and the catharsis of like okay if we're really burning out let's really burn out spectacularly kind of thing I'm bringing a very juvenile winter king <laughs> um, very young and a kissable teenager um, whereas summer is very much old, wise, and near burning out. Experienced. Experienced. More mature. Connected to that, to the joy of winter, I also felt like everything and everyone needs to start somewhere. And I've, I've seen winter kings before me and admired them. They were strong, stoic, regal, already in their power. And it was beautiful to watch, but it made me wonder, like, what about the early phases? Like, how would a journey look for the Winter King if we see how he grows into power? Squaring up to people and things, thinking that he is the best thing this world has ever seen. However, in reality, he's going to learn that he's not always as ready as he thinks he is. And that's an important lesson to learn because it's part of growing up. Like you can be adventurous, but like you also have to be able to admit that you have taken more than you can chew. And on the night, I will start out as a, as a young princeling and then grow into my actual kingdom and king hit. I'm coming from an angle where like a lot of people have a really negative relationship with winter. Um, a lot of people have uh, this feeling of, oh, it's getting cold, it's getting dark. Uh, and I myself realized, partially during lockdown as well, that I had forgotten the joy of winter. And I felt like, oh, it's just a dark, gloomy time. And I got back in touch with that joyful side and I want to spread that. Um, so other people can feel the joy of winter as well. Feel the joy of big sweaters, hot cocoa, and just watching the sunset, making a snow angel if it snows. It's great.